Today we're going to be continuing configuring the BTT Eddy. Alright, so now that we've set our Z offset and everything, we need to make sure the nozzle is at zero on the bed. So, let's move it to the middle. And I have three lead screws, so this is kind of a pain in the ass for me. I've got to remember which way they go. So zero. All right, perfect. Now we're going to want to make it twenty millimeters from the bottom of the eddy. So we need to go another 18. Uh, so, you grab yourself a set of calipers if you got them. Hopefully you got them. Extremely handy. 20 mil. I got a light in the way. I'll move that over just a bit. And we're going to bring her down. One lead screw at a time. Twenty mil. All right. So now that we've placed the eddy twenty millimeters above the bed, we're gonna go grab a command from point seventeen on the Big Tree Eddy GitHub, and it's gonna look like that. LC LDC calibrate. We're gonna hit play. And it uh, will do its thing. Might take a little bit longer than me. We're gonna save config. So under number three, for mapping eddy readings to nozzle heights, we're gonna go grab point 19's command. We're gonna copy that, and we're gonna paste it and hit play. Now it's gonna do your first homing, so make sure you have it on the emergency stop. So, we're just going to lower the bed, or raise the bed in my case. And then once I get a bit closer, I'm going to take you back to the printer, because we're going to need to do the paper, paper test. Alright, so we're going to make sure you got your piece of paper. Throw that underneath. And we're just going to slowly lower. Alright, now that it's a bit closer, we're going to change increments. And just double check to see if it's catching. Still nothing. You want to go slow at this point, you don't want to dig it into the bed. So it's catching just a little bit, so I'm going to go down just a little bit more. So, you're going to feel a little bit of resistance. Let's see how it kind of catches. And that's like perfect right there. And then just hit accept. And it's going to perform sampling. Just let it do its thing.
Okay. So now back to the computer we go. All right. Now that the probing is done, we're going to save config. Now it's time for the really fun part. We're going to home all accesses. Axes. Axes. Now we're going to go five millimeters. We're going to grab a command and it's set idle timeout, timeout equal 36,000. That's just going to make sure the nozzle and AX or the bed and the extruder don't uh, timeout. We're going to grab the next command from 0.32 under temperature compensation calibration. We're going to copy that, paste that in. So this is for your bed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 80. Hold on a sec. I'm sorry, do not change that. We're going to keep that on 56 because this is actually the temperature for the for the eddy. Heating up the bed and stuff comes later. So we're going to hit this. I'm going to bring this up again, <clears throat> which is for doing the paper test again. So I'm not going to rehash it. I showed you once. Just make sure it just grabs. So I'll be right back after I finish that. All right, so I did the paper test, hit accept, and then I did some sampling. So now we're going to turn on this to 250 and the bed to 80. I'm sorry, put this to 220, not 250. And now every four degrees, you're going to have to redo the paper test. So we're calibrating the temperature based on the bed and the extruder. So you'll see here temperature probe collected sample one of five at 36.49. So the next one is going to be at 40.49. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. This is the slow part. Just make sure you reference 0 0.5, 30 through 37, because there's not much I can really say. It's the paper test every four and a half degrees, and just try and keep your paper test as consistent as possible. So we'll come back after that, and uh, we're pretty much done at that point. All right, so the temperature calibration is finished. Uh, I wasn't getting past 54, so I prematurely finished it. Uh, saved the config and had a little bit of errors, but uh, fixed that. And uh, now it's time for the fun part. We get to uh, home and then do the rapid scan. So I'll go over to the uh, printer and we'll show you that. All right, let's do it. I need to lube my screws.
Alright, there we go. Now I'll go check out the bed mesh and uh, see how wonky this bed is. Alright, back at the computer, let's check out this height map. And, uh, yeah, it's alright. It's a warped. It's warped, not much I can do about that. But our, our range is only 0.355, so we're looking good. We'll save that config, and uh, that's it for setting this up. So uh, I'm going to do a uh, calibration cube, and I shall uh, show that off when it's done. And we'll do the wrap-up. So I don't know about you, but I'd say that's a pretty good-looking first layer. Could be a little bit more, but I don't know. Pretty nice to me. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, leave them down below.